Hey folks, uh, this is Russ. Now, don't judge me too hard on this next interview. It's actually really interesting, and we're going to talk about a lot of things that I have never talked about before. And I don't know what happened. I don't know what made me kind of come clean. Maybe it was because I just woke up from a sound sleep, and I was still all just not in my, you know, element yet, but I, I wasn't. I was really tired and really just kind of wiped out. So I think I talked way too much, but a lot of you folks are going to learn a lot about McKamey Manor. Hey everybody, it's Russ coming at you unshaven, looking gross <laughs> from McKamey Manor. I apologize. I just had a uh, call from a guy named Roddy Stewart from England. He wanted to Skype. And you know, I'm always asking the haters to Skype, right? And 99.999, and don't do it. But this guy wanted to Skype. So I did, of course. And so here's the video. I think it's entertaining. Watch the whole thing. And like Roddy says, we'll let the video speak for itself. But he's a good guy. So Roddy out there, man, thanks for calling. I do appreciate it. You're a stand-up lad. And let's roll this thing. And I'll talk to you guys at the end of the movie. Thank you with that sound there. I'm tired. I know you don't care if I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you, man. What's going on? So who are you? I'm from I'm from London. Alright. Well what tell tell the world who you are, what's your name and all that good stuff. What are you broadcasting me live on Facebook or something? Oh we it will be, but not yet, it's just recording. Definitely. I record everybody. It's in, it's entertaining okay, it's it's, it's entertaining to listen to what people say. We we all get a kick well, out of that. I'm, I'm, I'm not really here for entertainment. I'm here to have a one-on-one -on -one personal discussion with you as an adult. Well, that's okay. I still film everything, and it's still entertaining. I'm just, I'm just here to talk about my observations and pose questions to you. Oh, okay. Well, who are you? You gotta tell us, gotta tell us who you are. We know who I am. I, I'm Russ McCamey. So, who are you? I'm Roddy, a art, music artist from the UK. All right, Roddy. So what do you got going on, man? What's what's your grievance with McKamey Manor? Knock yourself out. Right. Basically, um, right to start with the whole tour. Okay. Just set fr from from watching it from back in 2012. Okay. To how it is now, it just seems completely different. I mean, I know there's probably been a lot more money put into it and whatnot. But it just seems that the results that people are coming out with just seems extreme, if I'm honest with you. Like, uh, what is it? Um, the latest one you put up on, what is it? Your new attraction, the chamber thing? Right. I remember, I, um, if I'm thinking correctly, for if my memory serves me correct, that in the chamber clip near the end, you could see the dude had blood coming from his mouth and I think it was one of your staff or yourself right that said um, about he'd had a tooth knocked out yeah yeah we pulled we, we pulled the tooth out yes we did when you go through the chamber right. when you go through the chamber we actually have a certified dentist on board and you know I, I can't tell you which guy it is but yeah so if they have a tooth uh, that is damaged they could actually get their tooth pulled that's pretty crazy isn't it but like so, right? So you're saying he got his tooth pulled. Is is everything surgically safe and is is acts like that? Are they specified by saying like right? Okay, there might be a chance you'll get your tooth pulled out, but they are. it will be it will it will be surgically safe. You're not going to have any long lasting damage. Well. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when they sign a waiver, the waiver is 30 pages long, and they go through it line by line, so everybody knows exactly what they could be in store for, right? So so when they, they 
they sign it. I mean, it takes takes two hours to sign the waiver. And when you sign the waiver, you are initialing every single act, stunt, procedure that we have available, which are hundreds of things. And they have to sign off on that. So they absolutely know that could be a possibility. And in his case, it was because we actually do a dental exam. And if we find a tooth that's rotten or destroyed or what have you, then we have authorization to uh, give him no Novocaine, which we do, and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll remove that tooth. That's crazy. Oh, isn't okay, it? so we're, we're removing the tooth, and you say, "Oh, it's crazy." What 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 would be your procedure of removing the tooth? So you give him Novocaine, which obviously is it's a numbing agent. What, right. You yank the tooth out. We do. We like... yank it out. We oh. yank we yank but, that rascal out. So who who would it be who? yanks the tooth out would it be the dentist that's on site yes I, I would presume that whoever is doing something like that would need to be extremely qualified uh to not cause lasting damage yeah well if they're uh, abs i agree so yeah we uh we have our bases covered obviously you got the big thing you got to always remember that we must have our bases covered otherwise we would have lawsuits against us and we would have the police seriously looking at us, not like with false things, you know, the police absolutely know what we're all about. We contact them ahead of time. We actually have, we had two, but we have one active duty law enforcement guy who works in the haunt now. So he's gone through it as a guest and now he loved it so much that he is, uh, you know, he's here as an actor now. So it's just a lot of common sense that you have to realize that if things were going on that shouldn't be going on or weren't legal, we would obviously be in trouble. Right? Does that make okay. sense? I gotta... with, 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 with you saying that, I mean, obviously, because I, 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 I know a few people in America and I know how corrupt the police can be in America. So there's, okay. a, there's a lot of like paid bribes and stuff. I mean, it, it doesn't tend to work like that over in the UK. But with you, with you saying you have a law enforcement officer right are they, are they, are they, are they still a, are they still a copper or yeah yeah, a, yeah absolutely officer? yeah absolutely they are active they're an ex-officer no 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 they're they're, they're still officer. active they're still active right exactly now that that highlights to me even more okay in regards to the paved bribes you you might be given information or certain ways by whoever this officer is right there's certain loopholes here so if you approach this situation in this way right. there's a legal loophole that you could get through by doing these specific things so that no one can that's true you, hey, you know what i never thought about that that's true we might be bribing them that's true i like that i like that theory in fact you know without without telling you too much there's a good possibility that yes there's money exchanging to let him do what he needs to do to keep the authorities off our back. So I'll be honest with you there. Yeah, he may be, uh, he may be kind of, without saying anything, you know what I'm saying, right? So yes, he may be on the, uh, let's, yeah, say, uh, let's say he's on the payroll. Enough to know you're yeah. saying what you're saying. Right, saying. I, I don't want to say it, but let's just say that Let's just say that he's one of my people who are actually on the payroll. Uh, everybody else is volunteer, but let's just say that he does get paid. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Okay. All okay. right. Which um, obviously leads me to believe even more that there could be stuff going so on. So, again, I cannot believe the type of things that I'm about to tell Roddy and I'm going to attribute it to me just being super tired and just not really even paying attention to what I was doing. So you're going to hear some things for the very first time and I'm kind of uh, worried that I'm actually putting this out. But if you guys want the truth, here you go. We'll say again now. I was that like with, with you saying that this uh, police officer, whoever he is, 
um, he he's on your payroll and he might be right. providing you with information for legal loopholes and such. Right, right. It, it inclines me to believe even more that what is shown on the surface is not necessarily what is going on. Oh, yeah, a thousand percent. I agree. I, I'll tell you that too, that I only show you the easy stuff. I don't show you the real things because you got to remember there's something going on back there that's making people go into shock and passing out and coming out like yeah. a, bl a blithering idiot right I mean you see the videos you see how stressed everybody is right so you yeah. so you know there's something more to it you know we're doing things that are kind of shady you know that we're doing things that are you know that maybe we shouldn't be doing and that's why I can't well, show them I I, I, I would, I, I can't say I know because I don't know what goes on behind the scenes, but I would presume, as, as a relatively intelligent man, right. I would presume with common sense that with the amount of secrecy that there is going on and to the extent of stuff that's going on, um, it, yeah, it, it's, there, there's, in, in my opinion, no, I and there is a that's few. that. Hey, that's <laughs> hey, Roddy, that's logical, and I would agree. I, I'm not gonna again, I can't give all the secrets, but I can tell you that, yeah, you're only seeing what I want you to see, and obviously, there's a lot more going on that would really freak the world out if they saw what was happening. And, and the reason why I have that law enforcement on my parole I mean on my payroll is to make sure I stay out of trouble so he keeps me he keeps me safe from the law because you know he's an official uh, you know representative and active still so yeah there's things going on back there that a lot of people would find very scary to the point of where you know it shouldn't be happening now has anybody ever died no but is it is it so much more than what I show? Ten thousand percent. The movies don't I can, show anything. I I, 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 can, I can firmly believe that. Yeah. So I'm just being I'm just being honest with you. I can lie to you, but I you know you're being respectful to me, so I will tell you the truth. I will tell you you know you're you're a smart guy. You know what's going on. You've got it figured out. So uh, I'm not going to try to hide it from you. It, that'd be stupid of me saying that you know. That, that illegal things, basically a lot of illegal things are happening back there. Yes. And I yeah. would be... Okay, so, so can, I, can I just... Uh, sure, I, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I want you to. Right, so when you're obviously reiterating to me that illegal things yes. are going on... Right. Like, when, uh, I presume that when, when people sign this waiver, um, they're obviously signing to allow you for these things to go on, but... Would I be right in making the presumption that the way things are worded and presented across would be in a way as such where people might not comprehend what they're adhering themselves to? Absolutely. There's a lot of trickery going on in the waiver. In fact, I would say the waiver is actually illegal too, in a sense. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I'm kind of like, I'm, you're kind of like a breath of fresh air. I'm like, uh, I feel good actually being honest with you and finally telling people how it really is. So you're kind of like, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm confessing to you. It's weird. So uh, Sorry about that. But like I'm, I'm telling people things I've never told anybody before. But yeah, so absolutely, that's, that's true, man. I, you know, the... The waiver is totally a sham if you really got right to it because I'm not, you know, the waiver is not legal, but I make them think it is. And just like uh, I have things going on that are true, are solely not, I, you know, I do a lot of torture. There is so much torture going on and we're doing things that would make, you know, Gitmo, you know, it'd make them scared. So we're doing some, we're doing some really kind of horrific torture on people including the pulling of teeth that uh if you saw it if the world saw it i'd be in serious trouble so i can't and that's well, why i have I, to have I, I i kind of get the feeling 
you are being really polite but quite patronising to me. No, by not really. By, by saying things like, oh, we're doing so much torture. Well, there... I, believe, I believe you might be being truthful but just taking the piss with it, as it were. Well, no, well, truly, there's obviously there's torture going on back there. Everybody knows that. Right? I mean, that's clear. Uh, do, 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 does everybody know that, though? I think so. <laughs> I think so, because, you know, the kind of devices that we use, I mean, yeah. You know, we all know that we waterboard people like crazy, right? So, waterboarding is officially torture, right? So... It's, it's yeah, it's seen as a yeah. method of torture. Yeah, and we do yeah, some, I mean, we do some crazy... Sorry, I was just going to say, obviously, we do some crazy waterboarding i mean we have a, a, we have a device that is specific for waterboarding i can't really i don't want to give to me you know i can't tell you too much about it but um yeah it's not like your basic waterboard it's like uh to the max to the extreme where it's uh pretty frightening and pretty dangerous actually but no, no one's been hurt so far but it's it's risky though no doubt Right. Okay. So why why is it that you? Yeah. I, I would presume you would like to class yourself as a businessman and entertainer. Right. Entertainer. Right, making that presumption. Yeah. Entertainer for sure. Not a businessman. I don't make any money on this. It's definitely it's definitely here to entertain people for sure. Right. Okay. So why why is it like relating back to the waiver again right. why is it that you would could, sorry could you hear me yeah i hear you i got you i'm here okay yeah so in, in relation to the waiver again why is it that you would feel the need to deceive people in regards to the waiver by making something so difficult for right. people to not be able to understand properly i mean just just say like before before you give me your answer right put the shoe on the other foot say if if i was you and you were someone coming to my attraction which had been posted on the internet it got a bit of name for itself right right and then yeah so yeah, you, you you'd come along. You'd you'd sign this waiver, which was in, in the perception that you've given me, for for full of um, trickery to mislead people into believe what they're signing. Right. Why? Imagine if you were a member of someone's family and you'd found out that they'd gone there and they'd came back with X, Y, and Z had have happened to them, or even the person who'd gone through was unwillingly entering something which they were under the wrong impression of. Right. And then coming out, uh, expe expecting something to go in one way and then it go in the complete opposite due to misinformation and a false guise of what the actual attraction was. Right. No, you're right. I mean, you know, I probably shouldn't do that. You're right. I understand you. I, I kind of agree with you there. It, there is... A ton of misinformation. I am absolutely leading them in to think it's just something safe and it's okay and no one's going to get hurt. But obviously, people get hurt. People get hurt badly. Uh, what? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I, I would presume that people would have enough common sense about them to know that you're not gonna, you're not gonna come out the other end after just getting your feet tickled and right. a back massage or whatever do you know what I mean like, it, like by, by watching the videos as well because people don't just see the name McKamey Manor without knowing about it and say oh yeah I'm going to sign up for it even though I ain't got a clue right. people get a general idea by watching the videos is is what I would believe so that they're, they're aware that they're not going to come out completely unharmed but yeah like I say yeah, but they don't. They don't know. But I tell you this, the though. Extent. You're right. They do not know the extent because, you know, we've had heart attacks inside. We've had numerous broken bones. I mean, you know, um, a lot of yeah. We've had more broken bones than I want. That's for sure. Facial fractures. We've had. We've had um, one leg broken. We've had two arms broken. So they don't know that. They don't know to the extent of how much damage they can have. We even got one guy, I don't know if I should tell you this, but one guy 
uh, it, but he signed off for it, so I'm okay in a sense. And I do feel bad about this. I'll tell you right now. I don't feel um, he got his eye damaged. His, he's got his cornea damaged, and he's now partially blind in his left eye because of it wasn't on purpose. But one of the traps uh, involves some creatures that we have, and one of the creatures, yeah kind of jacked his eye up and he still he still has problem with his eye so that's not anything I'm proud about I don't wish it didn't happen but it did happen and you know that's not a good scenario but I can't do anything yeah, about right. that oh, okay when when you're saying like yeah I can't about, see you I can't yeah, see you people have sorry here we go can you hear me yep I can hear you now I can see you yeah, so I was just running the touch for some right on I know you got you got the uh, you, you got the motion camera going I like that <laughs> uh, right, so yeah, when you're saying in regards to people getting broken bones, and right, like you say, the dude who got his eye damaged, yeah, his, le his left eye, blind. right, left eye. Why, why do do you not feel it's your responsibility to put safeguards in place where this stuff? is not happening well, so we, I mean yeah the, yeah. the, the whole I mean because I mean th like, like I say think about it from a from a humanitarian point of view and just having compassion and respect for human life like I say imagine if that was a member of your family you come to an attraction and now they're partially blind that's affecting them for the rest of their life I know you, you might you never know you might you might have completely taken away the guy's livelihood enabled him to Stop, stop him earning money he might have needed 20, 20 he, he might have needed 2020 vision for his job right. and then if his job's affected that can cause someone to not be able to feed their wife kids their partner or whoever end up becoming homeless i mean I, i'm speaking to you as as a man here right put aside McKinley manor how how would you feel in your conscience if you actually ruin someone's life due to what you tell me misinformation and a false guise of them coming into your attraction and then say end up becoming homeless on the streets, right. becoming a drug addict and dying or murdering someone due to how much of a downward spiral their life took. I mean, because I know this is being recorded as well. Right. I'm not saying that that is what happened to that man. I'm saying I'm just talking sure. hypothetically. Well, you know, <laughs> you got me thinking now because be honest with you. I kind of feel I feel bad now because I never really thought about it the way you're presenting it to me, and I'm not, you know, I'm kind of at a loss of words because I'm actually feeling bad about it. Because you're, you're right, you're right. I never really dug it down to that kind of core. I never really thought about it like that. What if it was someone I knew, or how could this affect him? I mean, we didn't, we never wanted to hurt anybody, but now I'm feeling really, you know, I'm feeling really bad about it because I. Uh, that wasn't the intent and we never yeah i didn't know what to say now i'm i'm pretty i'm kind of yeah you got me thinking now man i don't yeah i mean like how i mean because obviously look, look at looking at the 2012 video right when, when i first saw that i was like oh it, it it looks like it could be a bit intense but i was like oh my god it looks fun and then like I'd come across it, and then I think it had been about a year, maybe year and a half. And then the um, the two brothers came in dressed as Mario and Luigi. Right, right. I see that video. That was the next one I seen from the 2012 video. Right. And obviously the extremes are completely different. And then after that, that's when I started like doing a bit of research and looking into. Uh, McCamey Manor a bit more. Right. And then it's it's probably been about the past year or so where I've been fairly active in regards to looking into it and stuff, and I uh, obviously wanted to have a chat with you. Yeah. I mean, even even from when the two even from when the two brothers came in to the most recent stuff, it's it, it seems like it's just got jacked up in in the sense of, of how extreme the tours are. Yeah, I think you're right, and I, and you know, I kind of needed this conversation because I kind of thought about in the back of my mind I should like tone it way down, and you're giving me a lot of good things to think about that I kind of honestly, I don't know, I've been oblivious to, and that's what I'm saying. I'm feeling, I'm kind of feeling bad about it. I think we should ramp it back down to, 
how it was maybe, you know, where more people could go through it, safer. Because I, I don't want to hurt anybody. I, you know, I feel bad about the guy. And I don't want to hurt anybody. I really don't. I'm not a bad guy. But I think things just got carried away. And I, mean, I how, how, yeah, I feel, I'm feeling, how, how was, feeling bad. Sorry, sorry, Car Car you, you, No, I'm just feeling, you know, I'm just feeling bad. I'm feeling, you got me feeling really guilty now, and I'm feeling, and you're right, you know, I know, I, I'll be honest with you, nobody's ever talked to me like the way you're talking to me about this thing. So it's always been attacking me, and you're not attacking me, you're just using common sense, and it's making me think, and I'm thinking I, you know, I'm gonna, I need to change it. I need to make some changes. This is crazy yeah, what I'm mean, doing. Like how, how did it go from one extreme to the other? Uh, I don't know. McKinney Manners, it's well, I, I know it's known over in the UK because I've spoken to a couple of my friends. And I was right, like, oh, right. Have you ever heard this thing called McKinney Manor? And they're like, yeah, I've heard about it. And then like, obviously they've looked at it and they're like, yeah, yeah, I know what this is. So I mean, I, I know the name travels about quite right. a lot, I mean, at least to the other side of the pond. So I mean, how how did it get to such an extreme state? No, I I think I think how, I how, how did you let it get to? That? Yeah, I, and I shouldn't have. I think I got wrapped up in all the publicity. I was getting so much feedback from TV shows, and you know everybody was filming us. We had you know hundreds of news stations doing stories on us, and I guess I my ego took took over i think i got too wrapped up in everybody giving the manor all this attention you know we've been on every you know every every television show in the states you can think about we got a movie coming out we've got you know team people want to do reality shows i think i got wrapped up in the the fame of it and i i feel bad about that you know i really do this is like uh this is kind of uh an awakening thing here i shouldn't have, I, it's fame's kind of funny, you know. They start throwing all this money at you, and they start offering you all these different projects. And then there's, and then I gotta be honest with you, Las Vegas got involved. And Las Vegas, you know, we were we were making a lot of money on Vegas, obviously, obviously. And now we and now we're even running the show overseas, because there, you know, obviously I can't run the show like this without any money. This show is expensive to run, so. You know, I've been lying to people saying that I'm not making money on this. Clearly, I'm making a boatload of money. Otherwise, I couldn't do it. And and that's and it kind of just spiraled out of control, I guess. They were throwing up so much cash to me. And it's kind of like, and they wanted to see more and more and more. Especially the, you know, the online sites overseas in Taiwan and in PI. They, that's not good. So I think no, see now. Do you know what I don't? I I don't believe that. This is my personal opinion, anyway. I, I, okay. I believe like the whole the whole Las Vegas thing. I, I reckon that's that's to keep people more interested. Like oh my god, like there's people right. linked in with Las Vegas because obviously we all know you can bet on anything in Las Vegas. Yeah, you can. And I, I don't know, I think, I, I personally believe, this is me going to make an assumption about you. All right. I believe, I believe you've played on that a lot. I believe well, good. I, 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 I want lot. people to because, I don't know if you know, I've got some serious IRS issues. And I'll be, I'll be up front, man. The IRS is after me. In fact, you know, there's news reports on it, right? They're after me for like 200, and you can look it up in the recent article a couple weeks ago. In our local paper, the IRS is after me for two hundred and fifty some thousand dollars. So obviously, if I'm making, if I, if they if they're after me for that kind of money, you know I'm making millions because you don't make you don't you don't owe the IRS two hundred and fifty two thousand dollars without being a millionaire. So I mean, to, to be to be honest with you, like your 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 monetary issues, that's. That, that that's your business. I, I don't personally like. Excuse my language. I don't personally give a shit about that. Yeah. I talk to you in regards to the attraction and my observation. I got of the you. Attraction. My, my, your 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 monetary status has nothing to do with me. No, I know. I'm just coming clean. That people, you know, I've told people all this time that I'm broke, poor, and everything. But clearly, if the IRS is after me for that kind of money, clearly I'm not poor. And then you got to figure where am I getting the money from. You know, and I want people to think, is Vegas not true? That's good. But trust me, 
we are making money and that's that's where it started because it's this is an expensive haunt to run so we have to we have to have income coming in and that's the only income we got so it kind of it kind of exploded from there and do I was it legal no not really and do I feel bad about a lot of things now yeah and maybe I really need, need to do some soul searching and s stop it maybe it's gone on too long maybe it just kind of got away from me you know I, you know so don't don't think don't think bad about me I, I, this is a learning lesson for me I'm glad you brought some things up that I kind of maybe was ignoring and and pushing down and not really wanting to look at and so I, I appreciate you even you know bringing stuff up man I really do seriously and like, thank, thank you thank you uh, like there, there's a few more things I wanted to touch up okay real with, yeah real quick like, I, I gotta go do some but real quick go ahead and throw them at me here yep but like um yeah so like what I remember when you said in the old videos and stuff like Oh yeah, like we we can't show you what goes on because it's new attractions, and I don't I don't want to give anything away. Right. Like, why not? Why not just to completely shut everyone up? Well. Why not? Oh, one one of your one wait hold on. What one of your older videos? Right. Why not release that completely unedited? Because obviously the chamber you said that's got a few new things. Right. In it, right. Right. Reveal. So why 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 not reveal an unedited version of the vi of one of your old the videos right like say the 2014 2015 videos prior to the chamber and release that unedited and say look like here's what's going on well because i would be in jail because the stuff we're doing is very controversial and i can't i don't want to risk going to jail i don't want to get in trouble by the law and we have that one guy that's kind of already on our side, but I, that can't last forever. If you if you saw the kind of things we do back here, uh, again, a lot of illegal activities are happening. So I can't I can't show. I don't want to show that because then that would be on film, and they could prosecute me for doing some really horrendous things. And I don't I can't do that. Is that uh, it's better if I just stop. I think I ought to just stop doing it. But if I if I post it, I'm going to be like sued they're gonna come after me uh, you know that's why I don't show it I can't it's too it's too scary it's too it's not legal I'm being honest with you it's not legal so I'm I'm skirting the law and people know that and and I'm being honest with you so well why, why not if, if as you're telling me stuff that's going on is illegal and you'd be in jail why not just like, like you say, quit while you're ahead, delete all f incriminating footage that you have, like get, get, get your next couple of haunts out of the way or whatever. Right. And then keep the footage that you have up on YouTube and just shut it down. Because like, like you said, if, if you're making loads and loads of money off this, right. you're going to be financially stable enough to lock it down and crack on and then, and then proceed with your greyhound donations right and start helping greyhounds and like like you say you try, try and re redeem yourself a little bit as a person to try well, and the, bring yourself some the great good the, energy the greyhound thing is is not really so real either so that's kind of uh i mean you know the greyhound thing isn't maybe as real as i've made it out to be there's not really we're not really donating to the Greyhound site. That was kind of a, a deal that we we needed. I was told I had to get something that was going to keep we draw people in. Yeah, and and, 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 to, and to keep yeah. So actually, to be honest with you, you know, we don't even have any dogs, and we so that's kind of a scam. People that the dogs you've seen, those aren't our animals. Just like the you know, yeah. I'm feeling really bad about everything, man. I don't even like where this is. I can't believe I'm even telling you stuff, but I can't show I can't show it on on YouTube because they're going to arrest me. I mean, if I have that, if I have a the full tour on there, whether I delete it or not, I'm telling you the stuff that we do. Yeah, it's not legal. Of course, it's not. That's why people freak out the way they freak out. If they if it was something that was really just okay, they wouldn't come out in shock they wouldn't be dama damaged the way they are but they're destroyed after coming here so obviously 
I can't show that because I would be I would be taken away. So I understand what you're saying, but I can't because I gotta you know yes I did wrong. Yeah, I shouldn't have put people through all the things I did. I agree. I understand, and I am gonna start to change. I, I can make it go back to like 2010 and do something more of a boo hunt, which I think is a good idea. I, my conscience would feel better, but I can't show it because they would have evidence on me, and I can't. Okay, I can't do that. That, that, that. That's that's why I said to you, why why not get like these next couple of tours out of the way, right? And then delete delete. All of your footage, apart from the stuff that's on YouTube. Oh, okay. And, and just, it's just, just scrap it. So at least, like, when you look back, yeah, you can still say, right, okay, I did this. Is what I made money of, and then it's still, it's still a subconscious reminder of what you'd achieved, but also that reminder to your conscience, like, do you know what? Like, I've achieved this, but because of this, and that can always be a reminder of why you're going to take steps to change in whatever way you're going to do as a person because I think you're right I believe, if, if you're a bad person and you push out bad energies you're going to attract negative people around you and it's going to keep you in that circle and increase the negativity and just badness happening around you so I, I mean like since, since like your claim to fame as it were and your your rise and notoriety and stuff has has more bad stuff started generally happening or have oh like yeah oh yeah no i'd say karma has been bad i'd say because of all the horrible things you know and that's that's why this has got me thinking too i think you're right this is a an eye opener because i never really thought about that too but all the horrible things that we're doing to people yeah the my whole world you know look at the irs right you know i'm gonna IRS wants to put me in jail. That's crazy. And I knew I had some money problems with the IRS because obviously when you're making millions and I am making millions, but they're coming after me with 252,000 bucks that they want right now and I don't have that. That stuff is that money's offshore. That that's why I do shows in the PI in Taiwan. So I don't, you know, I've been doing a lot of shady stuff. I'm not going to lie to you. And so yeah, a lot of karma has been hitting me. And I didn't believe believe in that, but now that you bring it up, yeah, yeah, it's I need to, I need to stop. I need to change. I need to change things up. I don't know if it's too late. I don't know. Is it too late? Is karma? Does that? I mean, have I done so much wrong to people in the haunt that it's too late? I don't even know how that even works. It's, it's you know what? It's, it's it's never too late to change your outlook. I mean, you never you never know when when karma is gonna come creep up on you karma can hit you 10 years later when everything's going good right but it's just it's it's down to you as yeah because regardless of what way you go you're gonna be people are gonna talk and remember you how how, how do you want to be remembered not like this i don't want to remember like someone who tortures people i don't want to remember you know i i want I, this all started out to be entertainment and fun but now we we've, we've actually hurt people badly you know, I you don't know how bad the eye thing bothers me. You know that really bothers me because you're right. That guy that may be affecting that guy his whole life. So, and I did that. I caused that because, you know, we uh, yeah. actions that took that uh, actions that were allowed to happen. Yeah. down to you. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm, I'm not gonna bullshit anything bad that's happened to people. Do you know what? I, I hope you feel like a fucking horrible bastard. I do. I do. I, do. Like, do. I, I mean that in the most respectful way, but obviously, as a man, you obviously have to take, um, you have to accept actions that you've took. I mean, we all do. It's, it's not down to just one individual. So it's, it's not just you. People who've actually, even though you're the one who's given the platform for this stuff to happen, anyone who's involved with you needs to take responsibility for their actions. Yeah, it's, but it's, it's my it's do. my fault. I don't blame them. I, I blame it's my fault. I'm the I'm the one that's making them do everything. A lot of times, my my actors don't even want to do what I'm telling them, but I'm so kind of forceful with them that they just do what I tell them, even though they know it's wrong. That's what happened to the guy's eye. Uh, we were doing a little you probably see me you know inject stuff into people's eyes and and no. do, do, yeah and so we did that we injected something we shouldn't have, have injected with a needle in his eye and that jacked him up but I thought you said it was one of the um... that was a stunt we were doing a stunt 
But we, I thought, I thought you, you, you told me earlier it was uh, one of the insects or creatures that you had that... Well, yeah, because before we... If you watch the scorpions, right? Before we put scorpions on somebody's face, we like to numb them up. If you Have you ever seen, that, seen our scorpions? You probably have, right? Yeah, I, th I think I have. In right. the freezer. A uh, freezer on different tables. And so it was, it was a combination of, I don't know whether it was a needle that we were doing. We weren't supposed to be by the guy's eye. That was not the intent. Um, and then, so I don't know whether it was that or whether it was the the sting from the scorpion. It's in the movie. I, I cut it out before it happens because obviously, again, I don't want to get in trouble for it. But, and we didn't know damage happened until like, a week later and then they contacted me and and of course I was saying well too bad you signed the waiver you can't prove it was us but yeah it was us and you're right I gotta take responsibility for it. but I don't blame the guys that's my that's my call I'm not gonna get them in trouble they were just following my my orders so to speak so but then if, 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 they, if these people who are working for you and whatnot right they they do need to take responsibility because at the end of the day someone can try and press you and press you and press you but if, if you have enough willpower then you can always say no that's I mean, true how, how hard would it be for someone to say nah do you know what fuck you Russ I ain't doing this no more I'm right. done mate that's true well yeah I know it's just that these people that I have working for me to be honest with you they're they're pretty weak in the mindset and it is kind of like a cult over here. I am kind of like the cult leader, and they do what I tell them, and they don't even question it, and that's not good either. That's not a good place to be. It's not good to have that much power within. It's not a big group. I mean, we you know we have like thirty actors, but they all it's very cult driven, and they do without even without question they do everything I tell them, and that's not a good scenario. I'm not proud of that. I guess this kind of makes me feel empowered, though, that they do that. Of course, of course. But it's it's as, not a good as, thing. As, as a man, as a man, then, well, a human being in general, it's in our nature to be greedy and crave power. And when we get that, it it triggers something in us. Because if, if you have people listen to you, it does make you feel powerful. Like, yeah, these people are listening to me. Yeah, it did. It, it, it doesn't make it right, though. And until now, I guess in the back of my mind, I always knew it wasn't right. And, you know, you, I know you know that we do a lot of mind control. We do a lot of MK Ultra, and we do a lot of hypnosis as well. And so I'm not going to lie to you that some of my guys are kind of, uh, let's just say, under a bit of uh, a disadvantage because of things that we've done to them in the past with a little bit of mind control. So I'm not going to lie to you about that. Okay, that's... That that's the first I've heard of it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have made an assumption like that. Uh, then maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I thought you already knew that, so never mind, never mind about that. Uh, then, that, then doesn't, he, that doesn't he, need to, he, that doesn't he, need to get out. Read stuff. Who, sorry, go on. I was just saying I really don't want that out. I'm not proud of that. I'm not proud of the fact that we use uh, MK. I'm not proud of that. But it's something that I was trained to do in the military. For a lot of years, a lot of years, that's what I dealt with. So, that's kind of that was kind of a specialty of mine. In during the service, it was kind of a, you know, I, I, I'm talking too much. Anyways, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You talk, you talk, man, you talk. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, no, do you know, I, I reckon you're a lot more intelligent than you let on because I personally believe that you think that. By me talking to you in the manner that I'm talking, I'm trying to lure so much information out of you, and then I'm going to go blabbing it all over on Facebook. I don't know. I, I am kind of concerned. Is that is that what you're going to do? No, but no. I I, I, I believe that you're saying like like what you just said with the MK Ultra. You was like, oh, obviously, you said to me, obviously, oh, you know that we we do MK Ultra, and you think that I'm. Because you're talking in a calm manner to me and it's sounding quite sincere and not aggressive that I'm going to be like, oh, oh my God, Russ McCamey just said that they do MK Ultra and etc. etc. Right. I, I, I believe what 
some of what you've told me is quite truthful, but then I believe other bits that you've told me would be to add to the entertainment factor because obviously, as you said, at the beginning of this uh, video chat, right? Every, everything, it's entertainment for people on your side. And I, I personally believe that I've caught you off guard in how I'm approaching you and you're trying to give me certain bits of information that could lead me to go start start writing loads of stuff over the internet and start trying to have a pop at you so then you can say look see this is someone who doesn't agree with what's going on at McCamey Manor or doesn't fully support it and anyone who doesn't fully support it they all try and attack me and have a go at me right no that, yeah that's, that's my person no I hear you I hear you I, I just I kind of you know I don't I'll tell you right now, this movie. If I do post it, it will be some things will be edited out though. So, uh, but why? I, well, because I mean, I told, I spoke too much. I think I, I talked a little too much, and I need to like, I need to reevaluate what I, what I said here. Well, I'll tell you, like, okay, I'll make an agreement with me then. All right. If, I, I, I will allow you to post this online with my permission. Okay. On the one condition. Okay. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. What's what's the condition? On the one condition that you will send me a copy of it before it goes live, so I can li I I can watch it myself and know that you are not trying to twist anything that I've said to make me look bad and whatnot. So I hear you. I, I, I would presume that speaking to you as a man, right. as face to face as possible, because obviously you're over the other side of the world, that I, I think we've had quite a productive discussion, and I, I would hope that, giving you the benefit of the doubt, you would post something as fair as possible, even though I don't agree with what you're saying, because because I've shown you the respect as a man. Right. Yeah. You have, and I appreciate that, because again. <clears throat> Most of the haters, and I'm not calling you a hater, but most of the folks that attack me, attack me in a really ugly way, but you didn't do that, and maybe that's why I kind of opened up to you and was more, I was honest with you, and the other people just make me all defensive, you know what I mean? They, uh, I just get really irate with them, but I, you know, you got a, you got a kind of a calming way about you, I'm not going to lie, so, you know, so, I don't know what... Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, from... The, the perception I get from things I've watched and things I've read, I, I, it, it, it sits uneasy with me what's going on. And obviously down to our conversation from what you've told me, right. if what you're telling me is true, then yeah, I, I definitely don't agree with what's going on. But I believe the, the, most, the most effective communication tool is words. And if used correctly and conveyed in the correct manner, you can you can break rounds with people Cause like you said because i bet most people who would video chat you they would start going off on one saying oh you horrible bastard you horrible bastard da, 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 da. like you do this you do this and then don't give you a chance to explain yourself right that's exactly and, what happens yeah yeah they don't, sorry one second okay yeah i had to answer the door to my mate and um, where did where did we get to well, I don't know, but I was just saying, I really, I, I, I honestly appreciate you taking the time, seriously, I really do, and I hope you enjoy, you know, I'm going to make a movie, I hope you think it's okay, I hope you enjoy it and stuff, but I, I, I appreciate that you, in a civil way, approached me, you know, didn't attack me, and I appreciate that, you know, that makes, that, that makes all the difference in the world, and I hope you enjoy the movie that I make, and I, I hope you take it in the right spirit and everything. And Yeah, well, I mean, like, like, like I said, I will give you my permission to put what's been recorded between us okay. up on the internet. If you send me a version, and I agree to that being the final version, as long as it doesn't try and make me look, I've come on here and tried to attack you. No, no. Oh. Try and make me look bad because I don't necessarily no. agree with what your practices are you, you clearly didn't attack me you clearly were not trying to go that route so how about if i just I mean, 
how about if I just post the whole video? I don't, you know what? I should just be done with this stuff. I should like make it a clean break because you're right. It's time to move on. Are you okay yeah, with me if, just? If, if, if you're saying post the whole video, just unedited. You just will, like you, you've. You've said you've admitted things to me which yeah, I don't, I don't, land you in prison and stuff. But well, no, because if you, really make, if you if you really want to make a change as a person, yeah, like I said, send me an edited version, which I would be happy with to put on the internet. Then make your clean start, and then start making a positive change around stuff, and that that would be the best option. If if you just feel a bit sorry for yourself and think like, oh no, do you know what? I'm going to lay everything out on the table. Maybe I that's should. That's not going to do you any good to benefit yourself as a person and start making changes in other people's lives. Well, okay, so let me ask you, because I do appreciate what you're saying. Do you think it's better that I just release everything, like this conversation, release it without edits? Let everybody see it, or do you think I ought to make cuts and keep stuff out of it? I mean, I, I, you're you're what you're saying, kind of. You know, I appreciate what you're saying. So, what's your take on that? What do you think I should do? Right, in it depends what way you would want to approach it, and, and what in what manner you're posing that question to me, because that that can be very open to interpretation. Well, I mean, I'm just talking release it full without without. Like what I'm doing right here, just release it. So what 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 would be your objective of releasing this video full? Are, are, but but if 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 by releasing the video full, are you looking to make a kind of like make amends in a way because you you brought up a lot of really good points and you brought it up in a way that wasn't uh, attacking me and you kind of. You kind of made me see things differently, and I think I do need to make changes. I, I think it's time. I think things I think things have gone on too long. I think it's time to, uh, yeah, if you know what I, I mean. I would say to you, I would say to you that, obviously, you're a man. You can make your own decisions. Reli do what you think is going to be more beneficial for yourself. So if you think that by releasing a whole unedited video, though, which you said will land you in prison. Well, I mean, be, I, no, well, I, I don't, I'm not, I can't show, no, I won't do a release of like things I have done in the tour. I can't release that. I meant like this, this whole conversation that we're having, there's things in here that worry me. I don't want to talk about certain things, but I kind of did. You kind of, snuck him out of me a little bit I'm saying should I just go ahead and release this conversation in its entirety or do you think I ought to edit this conversation well I mean me, me speaking as someone with the opinion that I have I would I would like to see the whole unedited video out online but then obviously as I was saying to you earlier will, will you back me up though will you will you back me up if I get in trouble for it will you kind of will you not be an attacker on it then will you if I release the whole thing will you like at least say that hey he was legit and he released the whole thing and maybe he's not this big bad guy I thought maybe he maybe you know will, will you not jump on the bandwagon then well, I mean, obviously, all, all, all I can do, it, it, hypothetically, if this video did get released unedited, right. the only opinion I could give in regards to this video was the opinion of my conversation with you. Right. But then my, my opinion on the conversation with you is all displayed throughout this video. Right. I just don't want you jumping on... YouTube and start slamming me if, if I post this whole thing. I hope you don't have any alternative motives. Alternative motives. I hope you're not trying to like get me thrown in jail, or nothing like that. I, I don't, you know. I hope you're not. I hope this isn't like a setup that you're trying to sting me or something like that. And I need to ask that. Are you trying to sting me? Is this any kind of a setup at all? In regards to what I mean, obviously, like, like law enforcement. I mean, like law enforcement. Like I, I'm okay. more. Are you like? Are you law enforcement? Are you trying to set me up for a sting? Because obviously we had that one guy in the okay. payroll. But I mean, are you like? Law, are you law enforcement, Roddy? At all? I, I gotta ask. No, no, I'm not. So honest, honest engine. This is not a setup to like 
use this against me for you know gel time or nothing like is that what you're trying to do i just ha i just have to ask in this conversation okay well i just have to i you just realize i have to be careful and i have to ask because i don't want this to be a setup you, you could be like interpol or something trying to bring me down and i just i'm just asking you legitly man to man are you interpol are you trying is this a sting operation oh, no. What's Interpol? Is that some American thing? No, that's like that's like English police, and you know. No. No. So nothing like that. Uh, no, 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 no. All right. <clears throat> All right. Hey, Roddy, I gotta go though. I got, I do gotta go, man. But I do appreciate you taking the time, and I appreciate you not yelling and screaming at me. And thank you for drawing certain things out of me that I kind of ignored. And I think it's time to make a change. And I, I'm just gonna yes. I'm just gonna post a whole video. Forget about it. I'm just gonna but you know, just just maybe support me and don't dog me out too much in the comments. Cause I I told you a lot of stuff that I shouldn't be telling people, but I told you, so you know, maybe no, no, people are gonna make comments for themselves. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying if, if you release an unedited video. Maybe you could just I'm saying, you know, support me a little bit. I'd appreciate that. Yeah, well, I mean, like I said, I, all, all I can do is just give my opinion on this conversation, but my right. my opinion's been shown throughout the conversation. Right. So it, it, everything will speak for itself. All right. I think you're right. Everything will speak for itself, and I appreciate the call, and, you know, maybe you can visit the matter if we tone it down and stuff like that, and... But uh, no, I, I, I will not be visiting the man. All right. I will not be visiting the man. I'm all right. Yeah, thank you for your time, anyway. All right, pal. Um, you take um, care of yourself, and thanks for being a good sport and talking to me. And I appreciate you, you know, being civil. And and you're exactly right. Everything will just, you know, speak for itself. And I appreciate that. And I think that's good, a good way to leave it. Let the video speak for itself, right? Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, pal. You take care of yourself. Be right. safe out there, okay? Yeah, you too. Take All right. Easy. Be safe, man. Take care of yourself. Bye bye, Roddy. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm fine with the conversation that the converse, the whole conversation between us two in this now third part. I am fine with the whole unedited version being released but if it's edited and trying to make me look bad or portray me in a different light of any sort I will obviously voice my opinion in a comment but apart from that I'm I'm fine for the unedited whole thing to be released okay cause I, pro I guarantee you got my word I'm just going to edit it you know I'm going to not edit it it's going to be the full released video of you and me talking because you made me uh you made me see you kind of made me see the light a little bit and i appreciate that i appreciate you being calm and you know like you said we'll let the video speak for itself i think you did yourself proud so i appreciate that no, no, no like i said obviously I, I i just wanted to speak to you and get my own opinion on it from the things i've observed online and what people have been saying and whatnot right. so well yeah well, I just appreciate you again sharing your thoughts, and I appreciate you, uh, you know, letting me see things in a different angle. And I think you're right. So I appreciate right, that, bud. And and I promise you, it'll be just the full. It'll be the full video, and uh, that's it. And good stuff, man. It'll be a good, it'll be a good video, and I appreciate you for. For you know, stepping up and talking to me in, in a kind way, and I, I do appreciate that. No, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, like I said, thank you for your time. All right, pal. Um, if you yeah, I'll let you crack on. Um, all right. But yeah, you take it easy. All right. Thanks, Roddy. You take care of yourself, bub. All right, mate. So, all right now. Well, all righty then. There you go. That was the conversation, speaking for itself, so to speak, with Roddy. And Roddy's a good guy. I like Roddy. Come on. He's a good dude, right? So everybody out there watching this thing, that's how a hater should be right there. And he's not even a hater. He just had a lot of questions. And, uh, you know, that was kind of fun, right? So thank you, my man, Roddy. You're a stand-up dude. You're welcome to come here anytime at the manor. And 
I guess that's it, folks. And again, all you folks out there that want to talk to me, call me. I'm going to give you my home number right now, 858-672-2824. I mean, come on, how many haunt owners give out their home number to have discussions like this, like, like we have with Roddy, to the world? I'm an open book. Call me, rant, whatever, yell at me, be nice and calm like Roddy, whatever you want to do. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. All right, guys and gals, take care, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.